Thank you. Thank you. This food is really good, too, actually. I'm, like, I'm just going to keep eating because it's really Favorite good. Favorite guest, officially. Mm. It is really good. Did you try that? I did. That's really good. It's so delicious. The fish is really good. I'm always interested to hear from another woman in energy, kind of what your experiences have been, mm -hmm. um, what your perspective is on what it means to be a woman in energy. Yeah. I always thought if I worked really hard that, that that was the most important thing. And I, so it gave me some blind spots. I didn't know that I could like be fired because I was a woman. Like, I didn't know that that's, there, you know, there have been jobs that I've been let go of and I know that that was a precipitating factor and I didn't realize that. I was once told, I have four kids. I was once told when I was pregnant by the head of HR, who was a woman, when I went to her and said, I don't want to bump against the glass ceiling. She said, I think you should stay home with your kids. Wow. So. I have encountered it and I've been sort of just forged ahead and I've been, I've, my attitude's always been like, how hard can this be? I mean, if I just work hard and I, and I take risks, that, sh that should be okay, I should yeah. be able to do it. And I know that, you know, it's not, it's not really that easy at all, but forging ahead has been helpful. And it's really exciting to meet other women in the industry too. Look, there are just so many more women, there's so many new women in Congress and that is only for the good. Yeah. It brings all new perspectives and new life experiences to the table, and that is so important for getting yeah. things done. Yes. So one of the key things about the Energy Gang is having a female voice on there, because young women and women in the industry listen, and if they hear somebody who sounds like them, yeah. they can relate and feel like they have a place. Yes. I feel like sometimes women are hesitant to even be real yeah. about what their experience has been. Yes. And I think that that's doing a disservice to not share. Yeah. When I used to host my old show, um, I, I encountered all kinds of things because mm -hmm. it was mostly men who I was interviewing. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, they would see this young woman, and I, I, there were so many different comments that were made to my face. Oh, and I'm quite sure. one time, I forget who it was, but he came in with his press person. And I guess his press person had prepped him and was like, you know, she will ask you some tough questions, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. He walks into the studio. He takes one look at me. He turns around to his press person and says, this will be a piece of cake. Whoa. And then he sits down. I got so pissed off when he said that. I held my composure. And then I just started asking him the toughest questions. That's so great. You were one of the hardest interviews I've ever had. Really? When I was running Gridwise Alliance. Yep. You were really, really asking tough questions. <laughs> You're well, good. <laughs> but I mean, because, you know, people were watching and wanting to really hear what was happening. Yeah. And, you know. You wanted to dig, yeah. like find out what's really, you know, what, yeah. what the issue is. Questions beyond just the surface questions. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he actually walked out sweating, which made me really happy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I know, you yeah. just kept rolling. I know. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>